Okay, so we're going to do another type of sorting. If you try to sort this column, like in lesson three, what's going to happen is I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say sort and um, it's going to ask me do I want to expand the selection and I click yes, I click go ahead and sort and I get this error message that talks about merged cells need to be identical. Well, the problem is, is that we have cells that are merged, like this cell down here. That's merged. That's a bunch of cells that have been put made into one cell and up here. And Excel is getting confused. Let me show you how to get around that. It's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is from this cell, which is the total profit of Sour Punks, I'm going to select it all the way down to M&Ms. I don't have the titles up there and I don't have the total in the selection. This is very important. And now I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to sort and I'm going to do, I think, uh, largest to smallest. I think this is what I do. Smallest to largest. Either way, it's fine. And as you can see, it did it. Yay! Now, let me show you something to avoid. Okay? This is important. Do not start from the name of the candy column. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. If you do that, if you, if I want to zoom in here so you can see it, it doesn't say sort uh, smallest to largest or largest to smallest. It says sort A to Z and Z to A. Um, because it's going to put them in alphabetical order. And we don't want that. We want the totals. So make sure you start from the total column, which is over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and resort that again for you. And uh, that's it. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.